Aside from getting your daily dose of vitamin D, there's now another reason why you need to have yourself exposed to sunlight, which is our natural light. A new study published by Chronobiology International reveals that a lack of natural light exposure increases the risk of developing depression and having poor quality of sleep. In this study, the researchers recruited 20 all-female employees and divided them into two groups. The with window group, meaning the employees who could sit near the window of their offices to get their daily sunlight exposure, and the without window group, meaning the employees who can only use artificial light within their offices. The researchers then observed them for seven days. At the end of the seven-day observation, these employees submitted three saliva samples, collected at 8 a.m., 4 p.m., and 10 p.m. The researchers discovered that employees belonging to the without windows group have higher levels of cortisol, a body chemical related to stress and symptoms of depression, and lower level of melatonin, the body chemical that induces sleep. Cortisol is a naturally occurring hormone produced by the adrenal gland, the gland that sits on top of each kidney. Cortisol level increases during times of stress. In fact, most scientists consider it a fight or flight body chemical that elevates blood sugar level, enhances the brain sugar consumption, and suppresses the digestive system function during emergencies and stressful situations. When cortisol level in the blood is always higher than normal, it can disrupt the body's normal processes and cause sleep problems, depression, anxiety, digestive disorders, weight gain, and heart disease. Melatonin is a body substance that plays an important role in the sleep-wake cycle. It's produced by the pineal gland, a very small gland located at the middle portion of the brain. During daytime, the pineal gland is inactive. When the sun sets and darkness takes over, the pineal gland activates and melatonin blood level peaks. The presence of melatonin in the body makes sleeping very appealing. Melatonin stays high in the blood for about 12 hours, just enough time to make a person sleep all throughout the night. Melatonin levels within the body may be age-related, says the University of Maryland Medical Center. The highest levels of melatonin occur in young children. Melatonin levels decrease as a person ages. People of modern society try to maximize their activities even at the expense of the sleep-wake cycle function. They often work overtime, hours and hours after the sun goes down. Nurses, medical professionals, call center agents, and security guards are some of the people who go on night shifts to ensure continuous round-the-clock workforce in their respective fields. Exposure to natural light stimulates the suprachiasmatic nucleus, or the SCN, which is a special center within the brain that signals other parts of the brain to control body temperature and produce hormones. Scientists consider the SCN as the body clock. It helps time and regulate the patterns of activities within the body. Once exposed to daylight, the SCN increases body temperature, releases body stimulating chemicals like cortisol, and it delays the release of melatonin until nighttime ensues. The CDC states that about 1 in 10 adult Americans suffer from depression, a mood disorder that results in unusual lack of interest and persistent feeling of sadness. It can also cause short-term disability and decreased productivity. Sleep insufficiency is now a public health epidemic, says the CDC. It can sometimes lead to medical and occupational errors, vehicular accidents, and industrial disasters. Sleep insufficiency may also increase the risk for chronic health problems like depression, obesity, high blood pressure, diabetes, and cancer. The CDC's Behavioral Risk Factor Surveillance System Survey reveals that more than 35% of adult Americans have less than 7 hours of sleep. Another 38% sometimes experience unintentional sleeping during the day, and almost 5% reported falling asleep at least once while driving.